My name is KJ Kearney, and I'm gonna teach you how to not suck at small talk. Okay, clap it up, all right. Um, so, first of all, the first thing I wanna say is thank you to Terry and Charles for allowing me the opportunity to come up here and talk about literally whatever I want. But I used to work in education, and as a former educator, I like to give people some talking points before a presentation. These are things that you're going to learn. I'm most excited about the bottom one, KJ Small Talk Triangle. It's not really patent pending, but I've always wanted to write that in the presentation, so here we go. <laughs> so most importantly, who am I? A proud graduate of South Carolina State University, but I am one of the rare things that you see. Oh, clap for that, yes. But I am one of the rare things that you see in Charleston. I am known as a Binya, which means I am from Charleston, which is becoming increasingly rare as time goes by. But I also want to let you know that I'm a community organizer. This is a picture of me community organizing at a school. It's very inception, right? Because it's like a picture of me pointing to a picture of me talking about what I do, right? Like, it's very, very inception-ish. So I'm a community organizer, I talk in schools and I work with neighborhood associations, but I also am the founder of Black Food Fridays, which is a James Beard Award nominated social media account. And in a city like Charleston where food is very important, I feel like I should be famous by now, but whatever. We find out this Saturday, uh, well, we won't find out anything. I'm bringing back a James Beard Award to Charleston. So what is small talk? The definition of small talk is here, you all can read, but the most important thing I want to tell you is that small talk is not supposed to be difficult, okay? It is supposed to be an icebreaker, very, very uh, un unconfrontational, um, but most people think of small talk in two ways. That lady looks annoyed, right? So some, <laughs> some people are annoyed by small talk, and some people are terrified by small talk. But at the end of this presentation, I hope to give you some tools that will assuage your fears and make you one heck of a small talker, all right? Now, just in case you need research, because again, I am an educator by heart, right, and by training, small talk is actually one third of all communication that we do is small talk. And so imagine if you're not able to conduct small talk, you're gonna miss out on a wide swath of networking opportunities and an ability to build trust and rapport. Now here's a list of people who are really good at small talk. Exotic dancers, dentists, college football coaches, politicians. I did the male exotic dancer because I knew if I put a woman, like you would expect that, and I wanna challenge your bias today. Boom, men can be exotic dancers too. So anyway, also, I am the Simone Biles of small talk. I think we already said that in the intro, but if you don't like Simone Biles, how about Michael Phelps? I'm the Michael Phelps or Michael Jordan or Wayne Gretzky. Put in another person who's really good at what they do, and that's why we're going to use my technique today to make sure that you get better at small talk. This is my triangle. It's really a triangle. I wasn't joking. It's not patent pended, but it really is a triangle. And there are three parts of it. I'm going to break them down very simply. And I hope you're taking notes or recording this for Instagram because I'm going to be famous and you're going to want to have proof of this, right? So the first one is G. And G stands for grace. So anytime you're going into a conversation with somebody, especially if it's small talk, you're probably talking to someone that you do not know. Keep in mind that person may be going through something, you may be going through something, they might not say the right thing, you might not say the right thing. Give each other grace, allow flub ups. They mess up your name, repeat it nicely, right? Don't be a jerk. The second thing is commonality. You see how commonality crossed over the line? Mm, that was not on accident, man, because sometimes you gotta cross the aisle, right, in order to build commonality with other people. And if you can bring grace to the conversation and you can find something in common, the last part of the triangle is interview. If you ask more questions than you answer, then you don't have to be burdened by this pressure of having something clever to say, right? Interview the person. People love talking about themselves. Now, in case you are a, a sufferer from, that's called archmophobia, which is a fear of pointy things like triangles. I made, the same, I, made, I made the same graph for you, but with circles. 
So I wanted to make sure my brothers and sisters that are scared of pointy things could also get the message. Now, here's some small talk don'ts. Don't gossip, don't assume, don't be niche. Now, what I mean by that is do not start your conversation with something that only you and seven other people in the world know about, right? That is a horrible way to, to start a conversation. But more importantly, in addition to that, don't be mean. Now, compliments work very well. Start off the compliment, or start off the conversation with like, I love that shirt, right? Learn random stuff because the more you know, the more you can use to build that commonality, right? And last but not least, like I said, ask more than you answer. It works every time. Now, here's some starters for your conversation. My favorite is, is this the line for drinks? Because in Charleston, there's always going to be a long line for drinks, and no one knows where it begins or ends. I've also used what day is it, because uh, the pandemic has really ushered time meaningless. So, you know. And if you ever wonder, like, oh, I don't have anything to talk about, this man is worth $950 million, and he made a show about nothing. Seinfeld is a show about nothing, and it made him almost a billionaire. So think about that. If you ever get scared to do small talk, just be like, I'm Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> I'm Jerry Seinfeld. And last but not least, thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you all for giving me your attention. Follow me on Instagram, and let's bring this James Beard home. Peace. Hey, nice. Hey, nice.